And we're back. So when we last left off, Rashid tried to save a little girl, but she wasn't having it. And now I guess Fong is chasing this lady around, flapping his wings like a bird. I mean, I guess he does turn into a bird when he supers. So that seems appropriate. He's so weird. Why, why is his head so long? What a bizarre character. I mean, I think he's funny. I kind of like him, but he's just so weird. Like, Rufus was really weird, but he's even weird. Actually, I think Hakan might be weirder than Fong. It's def it's close. They're both, like, some of the most inexplicable stuff Capcom's ever come up with. Did he turn this lady to dust? I'm not sure I understand what's going on. Did he turn her to goo? And then eat it? Hello, good sir. Ah, he must have been the mysterious image on the phone. What is wrong with you? you know, I can't lie, R Rashid's pretty funny. I, I, I kind of like Rashid's personality. You don't really get a lot of it in, in battle, you know, he just kind of jumps off the walls and stuff, but in the story, he's actually pretty funny so far. So, everyone has a chess piece? Is that a thing? Because they said that Nash needed to get Guile's chess piece. So I really don't know how to play Fong either, but I do know that he has an instant overhead with jump back medium kick. You guys might have seen my earlier video about overheads. How do you how do you fireball with them? I legitimately don't Oh, it's flash kick, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, poison this guy. Yeah, come back. I wish I had super so I could turn into a bird. Maybe I'll... Nope, didn't get it before I killed him. I kind of like that you're switching between the good guys and the bad guys. That's pretty cool. Instead of just playing like Ryu, Chun, Guile, the main dudes the whole time. No, don't give him your chest piece. I don't know what they do, but I assume it's bad. So is this like uh, like how in Street Fighter 2 the whole premise was it was a tournament that Bison was hosting. So is this kind of the same thing, only everyone has a chess piece and you gotta beat someone to take their chess piece? And it's Bison set the whole thing up? That wouldn't surprise me. Oh snap! Get to play some Alex. I haven't played enough Alex, but I really, really enjoy him. He's super fun to play. And I think he's pretty, like, he's a pretty cool character. You know, he just kind of wails on people, doesn't really care, just goes nuts. And that kind of fits me. Oh, we're not, we're not going to play Alex? Or is this, like, the uh, post-match celebration? Oh, there's a Buki and Birdie. And Karen. And is that Hitler? <laughs> They're on the right. <laughs> no, he's got a he's got a normal mustache. He doesn't have a uh he doesn't have a little toothbrush mustache. Charlie Chaplin mustache. Birdie going ham on the food. You know, have you guys ever noticed that food looks really good in cartoons? I don't know what it is. I mean, this isn't really a cartoon, but it still looks good. But like watching Tom and Jerry and stuff growing up. I would see like the the chicken legs and stuff they were eating on there and it just looks so mouthwatering. So they were watching that match? Are we gonna teleport inside the TV? I don't know guys, this story is complicated, I'm telling you. Oh snap, that's the is that the trophy from Brazil? The trophy that they replaced the Cristo Redentor, or however you pronounce it, with in Brazil. 
I hope I get to play Zangief here. I can't lie. I mean, either way, I'll be happy. I like both these characters, but I love Zangief, man. Look at that cost now. Oh, snap. Are we a tag team? Oh, that's so cool. That's like a dream come true. So who's who's Alex's tag team partner? Uh, Laura? With that ridiculous outfit. That outfit is so bad, guys. Zangief and Mika's outfits are awesome, but that Laura outfit is just shameful, dude. Yeah, pump them up. Pump them up. I'm getting hype. I'm getting hype. Oh, hell yeah. All right, give me that Zangief. Actually, I like all these characters. I'll be happy with any of these. Nope, nothing. We're just jumping away. They're just teasing me. This goofy guy right here. <laughs> That's just how he walks around. It's a little bit like Johnny Depp in Pirates of the Caribbean or something. Okay, so what do these do? <laughs> Increased psycho power. Of course. <laughs> what does it mean? You guys play chess? I suck at chess, man. A lot of people have... I, I think a lot of people in the FGC play chess. Kind of like how a lot of people in the FGC play poker. Or like Magic the Gathering. I think there's just a big overlap with like competitive games. Uh, but I can't play chess at all. Like I know the rules, but I don't know like the strategies. I just kind of move pieces. Make a lot of mistakes. I can't look turns ahead. That's why I like fighting games, because all in the moment you don't have to you don't have to think ahead wait did that blow up just now did they blow up the death star that's not good oh snap that's the, the online uh, map no way the server's down Everyone who's played Street Fighter V has had that experience. No way, the server's down? Oh, the satellite. Dunzo. It's like the movie Gravity. So I guess it didn't blow up, it just like, uh... It activated or something. Yeah, man, I wanted to watch that match. It's a shame. Shibasaki. Yep. According to a report from our data processing department, a strong high altitude. I feel like we're uh, we're getting a lot of background characters here, like a lot of named characters that don't really do anything. I venture to guess that is the cause. I wonder if they're just trying to like increase the number of characters in the universe so that they can <laughs> add more DLC. But I feel like. There's so many characters that they have a big well to go to. Like, uh, you know, everyone from Street Fighter 3 that didn't make it in, Necro, Oro. I wonder if, like, Rashid's assistant or, like, his butler or whatever, I wonder if he's going to be a character. They kind of, he got a lot of screen time for someone who hasn't really done anything. Is that Jack Six from, from Tekken? Ah, the Death Star is called the Black Moon. Oh no, it's Jesse the Body Ventura. Looks like Jack Six, though. But who would have such advanced technology to cover this wide of a range? All right, Guile, let's get him. I thought he was wearing a hat at first, but it's just his stupid hair. I'm just kidding. His hair is awesome. Plus, it's almost July Fourth, so you know I gotta be patriotic. Val's the most patriotic so character. Your mission is to go to New York and determine if there is any connection to the missing hackers. I'm coming with you, Guile. All right. Oh, Guile and Chun Li, just like the old days. You guys see Street Fighter Two, the animated movie? I was like that whole movie. Chun Li. It's my pleasure. Everyone remembers that scene from that movie where Chun Li fights Vega, and she just gets wrecked, man. 
Vega just bodies her. It's pretty hard to watch. But overall, that, that's like a good movie. I know people say that like all video game movies are mad, but I, er, are bad, but I think that like animated movies are kind of an exception. There's a lot of good video game animated movies. <laughs> Even like the Final Fantasy VII movie, I know it was kind of like overly fan servicey and a little bit stupid, but it, it was like fun for what it is. Did I ever tell you that you have the attention span of a five-year-old? The other control keys were stolen by that programmer. Man, Shadow Lou back in business. They're just missing Sagat. When's he gonna come back? Speaking of which, what were you two doing all this time I was working so hard? Look who's talking. Did you forget that you were in charge of this plan? I'm not a big Vega fan. I, I've never really enjoyed playing him in any games. I would say that's a huge it seems like something I would like because I like characters who have like big pokes, but something about them just annoys me. I always preferred like Chun Li, Balrog, for like that charge character with big normals. I'm a big Balrog fan, and like every game, I think he's really cool. People say he's boring, but like you know, he walks on the ground and has really good punches that's that's what i like in a character i don't, I don't like characters who like jump off of walls and do crazy shit and roll all over the place i like characters who are like you know they stand their ground they have big buttons powerful special moves that's what i'm into no need to discuss the obvious now tell me the current status of the other device yes lord is that just money all over the ground? These two Did they blow up Wall Street? Because <laughs> that's where they are, right? That's why there's the giant bull. I mean, it's it's not the same bull that's on Wall Street, but I think it's meant to be like evocative. So that we can add more strength to you, my lord. <laughs> just a couple of puppets. <laughs> What the hell are you doing? Oh snap. Don't are we gonna like fight? That. Both of you, why don't you test them out at least once? Certainly two powerful fighters like yourselves are not frightened by Are we gonna fight more fighters? average Joes? That's a little weird, I think. Do you think you can fool me? Just fighting everyday dudes. I mean it's cool that Capcom went through the effort of actually creating these. Presumably they have like copied movesets. Is he just gonna stand there? You got any attacks, buddy? Maybe if I taunt at him. Does he just not have any attacks? Oh, he jabbed me. I love that target combo. Damn, this guy sucks at fighting. Alright, I'm gonna cut it there, guys. I will be right back with more videos very soon.